Welcome to Security Report. I'm Paul McAdam. Thanks for joining us. The general public should note that as part of measures against the coronavirus or COVID-19, no application for barbecue permits, fairs, parties, or any other public event will be processed. Regional police commanders countrywide will not entertain such requests until further notice. Please note that some coronaviruses can be transmitted from person to person, usually after close contact with an infected patient, for example, in a household workplaces, or healthcare setting. Some reports even indicate that those who have not yet developed symptoms may be able to infect others. Several things are recommended by the World Health Organization. These include frequent hand washing, maintenance of social distancing, avoiding touching your eyes and mouth, and the practice of respiratory hygiene. If you have a fever, cough, or difficulty breathing, please call the hotline numbers on 2274986, 2297490, 231-1166-226-7480 or 624-3555. Please remember you can also practice wearing a mask when going out in public. Ghana Police Force ranks on Saturday, April 4, conducted a narcotics eradication exercise in the Burbis River. The more than 11-hour operation at Gateroy Village resulted in the destruction of two camps, more than 27 kilograms of dried cannabis, and approximately five acres of cannabis cultivations with over 25,000 plants ranging between two to seven feet in height. There's been no arrests as yet, but efforts are being made to trace the ownership of the land with a view to instituting criminal charges. On Saturday that same day, Sparring Dam, Public Road, East Coast, Demerara, Sergeant Murray, with other traffic ranks, educated drivers and conductors of the current implementation for public transportation in efforts to combat the spread of the coronavirus pandemic. They are made aware that minibuses and hire cars should not carry more than 50% of the permitted number of passengers. These measures are implemented as part of the effort to reduce the spread of COVID-19 through social distancing in public transportation. And on Monday, April 6, Sergeants Wickham and Light lectured to minibus drivers, hire car drivers and conductors at the Route 32, 40, 42, 43, 45, 47, and 48 minibus parks. They also met with hire car drivers in the vicinity of Stabo Market area and Parliament buildings, where several topics were discussed. They noted that drivers and conductors must desist from holding or touching passengers. Drivers are to ensure that their vehicles are sanitized or cleaned every trip. Drivers and conductors must ensure that passengers sanitize their hands before entering the vehicle. They were also spoken about obstructing traffic, speeding, and the need for drivers to comply with traffic signs, all light signals, and road markings. It was reminded also that two persons were to be seated in a seat, and both should be wearing face masks. Now let's tell you the police are investigating a fatal accident which occurred on Monday, April 6, at around 1545 hours on the Houston Public Road, East Bank de Marara, involving a pedal cyclist Rudy Nurse, aged 32 years old, of Lot 188 Landscape Street, Queenstown, and minibus BYY 1311, driven by 35-year-old resident of 19th Street, Diamond, East Bank, Demerara. Inquiries disclosed that the pedal cyclist was proceeding south, northbound traffic only, on the extreme western side of the Houston Public Road when the bus was proceeding north on the eastern lane of the said road. The driver of the bus was in the vicinity of Rahman's Park and the pedal cyclist reportedly proceeded to attempt to cross the road from the western side to the eastern side. In the process of so doing, he ended up in a part of the vehicle where the left side made contact with him. As a result of that collision, the pedal cyclist fell on the road surface where he received several severe injuries. He was later taken in an unconscious state to the Georgetown Public Hospital where he was pronounced dead on arrival. The driver, who was passed a breathalyzer test, is assisting with investigations. A female staff of a medical institution who allegedly threatened to shoot her mere partner with an unlicensed pistol on April 6 at Chapel Street, New Amsterdam, Burbies, was disarmed and the weapon with two live rounds promptly handed over to the police at Central Police Station. Shortly afterwards, the suspect was detained and she reportedly told investigators that she borrowed the weapon from a New Amsterdam barber who has since refuted the allegation. Nevertheless, he too has been detained pending investigations and investigations are in progress. On April 7, Tuesday, Sergeant Mahadio, Corporal Harley Quinn, and Constable Benjamin held a COVID-19 awareness session with drivers and commuters along the Sudi Public Road in Essequibo and at the Sudi Car Park. Now let's tell you that two persons are in custody, taken in since Wednesday night, and they have reportedly confessed to murdering 
the 24-year-old man who lived at Ice House Road, Timeri East Bank, Demerara. Lawrence Benjamin was stabbed to death on April 5 at Timeri, the East Bank of Demerara. The young father of one was discovered in a pool of blood on a white plastic chair on a shed in the community near the Chedi Jagan International Airport. According to the police, the suspects who reside at Timeri were arrested following collaborative efforts amongst three divisions of the Ghana Police Force. The gazetted COVID-19 emergency measures, or the second set of such measures, came into effect on April 9th. This order is principally the same as the first, which came into effect on April 3rd, and will be replaced by the new order. This order lists some additional specific agencies and categories of businesses, including media, telecommunications, oil and gas supply services, for example, and workers such as port workers on the essential services. Let's tell you now, on Thursday, April 9, ranks conducted another drug eradication operation in the Burbis River, during which four fields of cannabis cultivation were discovered. The first acre, measuring approximately one acre, and the camp were found at Morgatstung Village with about 5,000 plants, ranging between one to four feet in height. The second farm, approximately another acre, and the camp were found at Gateroy Village with approximately 5,000 plants with the same heights. The third farm, measuring approximately two acres, and the camp were found also at Gateroy Village with 15,000 plants ranging between 1 to 6 feet in height. At this farm, a 40-year-old resident of Angois Avenue, New Amsterdam, Burbis, was arrested for cultivating the prohibited plants. The fort farm, measuring approximately an acre, and the camp were found at Bartico Village in the Burbis River with about 10,000 plants ranging between 1 to 6 feet in height. These were already harvested and being dried in the field and under the camp. The plants and camps were photographed and destroyed by fire. Now, ranks on Thursday, April 9, also acting on information, rent a farm located at Katuru Village in South Central Rupununi Latem. They conducted a search of a camp owned by a foreign national and found three unlicensed shotguns. The suspect is being sought. Now, police acting on information received went to Maranao Village in the South Central Rupununi Latem on April 2 and checked the home of a 37-year-old farmer and conducted a search in her presence, discovering two unlicensed weapons along with a small quantity of suspected gunpowder. The suspect is on station bail awaiting legal advice. And police are hunting for four males who invaded the home of a 40-year-old businessman of Republic Park, East Coast Damarara, at around eight hours on Thursday morning. The police are hunting for four males who invaded the home of a 40-year-old businessman who lives in Republic Park on the East Bank of Damarara, at about 8 hours on Thursday morning. Investigations revealed that the businessman was about to leave his home to conduct business, but upon attempting to leave his front door, he was attacked by the perpetrators who pointed a gun at him and forced him back into the house. The perpetrators then bound the victim's hands and feet and demanded that they hand over all the cash and jewelry. Surveillance camera systems showed the bandits rounding up four children, including a toddler and a female adult in the lower flat of the house. The police said the two of the bandits fled on foot in another direction and the others escaped in a waiting motor car. The police are also investigating a fatal accident which occurred at Line Dam on Queenstown in Essequibo Coast. This resulted in the death of a 20-year-old Ghana Defence Force Private German Jones. Jones of Sand Reef, Queenstown, Essequibo Coast was riding a red Honda XR motorcycle on April 9th at the time of the accident. It occurred about 2200 hours in the evening. According to reports, Jones was receding east along the center of Line Dam at a fast rate of speed, and as he approached the speed bump, he lost control of the motorcycle and fell. He sustained severe injuries to his head and other parts of his body. He was taken in an unconscious state by passengers to the Saudi hospital, which he was pronounced dead by medical staff there on arrival. He's presently lying at the Saudi Hospital Mortuary awaiting a post-mortem examination. Checks were made by the police for that motorcycle at the accident scene and also around the area, but they failed to discover it. Investigations are ongoing. Now let's tell you that the Ghana Defence Force, no news really for them since they remain in line and on guard in keeping with the operating regulations during this post-elections period. Now for this week's Wanted List. The Ghana Police Force has issued a wanted bulletin for 33-year-old Marisa Ahmad, also known as Marisa Ali, in connection with simple larceny committed on Stanislaus McCoy. The police said that the woman of Annandil East Coast de Marara committed the offence on February 4, 2020 at the Ocean Spray Hotel, Stanley Place, Katie Georgetown. Also wanted is 18-year-old Steve Archibald in connection with the murder of 
23-year-old Kyle Chase, who was stabbed to death on December 30, 2019, at Mazuni Street in Guyhawk Park. Police gave Archibald's last known address as Lot 136 Victoria Street, Old Boyston, Georgetown. Now, anyone with information that may lead to the arrest of the aforementioned is asked to contact the police on numbers 226-6978-225-8196-226-2870-65-227-1149-911, or, of course, their nearest police station. That's it for this week's security report. Stay safe.